Hello, Ryan. Hello, Stuart. You are our third contestant on Prove Your Love. Well, you must prove your love for your favourite film. Except I made Paul do Ghostbusters 2, because Ghostbusters 1 would have been too easy for him. Wow. Your favourite film, I believe, is Jurassic Park. Now, the way we're doing this right. is in two parts. Part one is a quiz. And like all good quizzes, I literally just go on Google. I'm so excited, because I've been outside having conversations, and all of a sudden I'll just hear screams from in here. <laughs> It's gone a bit weird. I've literally just gone on Google, put in Jurassic Park quiz, and whatever comes up first we do. Okay. And the other two have been user-submitted ones, which were really badly written. Oh, good. Unfortunately, the first one I've come up with you is from BuzzFeed by Ruben Guevara, and it's the hardest Jurassic Park quiz you'll ever take. Question number one. What is the film's famous tagline? An adventure 60 million years in the making. God, this is horrible. An adventure 65 million years in yeah, the making. Yeah, that one. Or 160 or 165. Uh, 65. Okay. We're going to lock that in. Yep. I think I have. It doesn't give you very good feedback on this page. It is. Yep. You right don't need done. to check it. I know this. I'll take your word for it. No, I fucking won't. Question number two. What does Juanito say when he inspects the mosquito trapped in amber? Que linda estás? Que lindo estás? Que linda eres? Or que lindo eres? How good's your Spanish? Que linda. <laughs> que linda? 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 <laughs> que lindo estás? You're going for lindo. Lindo. Que lindo estás. Number three. No, hang on. Too late. You're locked oh. in. You're locked in. <laughs> Not that. What is Dr. Ellie Sattler's occupation? Paleobotanist. That is one of the things. The other options are paleontologist, paleoclimatologist, or Hitler impersonator. She does the plants and stuff, yep. so it's Hitler pa impersonator. No. <laughs> I'm taking this quiz. Question four. I need to get out more. <laughs> Who is the first character in the film to say Jurassic Park? Is it Dr. Alan Grant, John Hammond, Alan Partridge, no, Dr. Ian Malcolm, or Donald Gennaro? See, now, that's a trick one, because you'd think it would be Richard Attenborough. Mm. In character Welcome Hammond. to Jurassic Park. But before that, before the Caelan de Estas line, the lawyer has a he comes in on that weird raft thing and has the chat with the guy in the amber mine. But then he, I'm pretty sure he says the accident at the park. As and I think I think it's Jurassic a big park. thing. It's meant to be a double bluff, and I think that will be uh, John Hammond who says it. Very good. Question five. According to Muldoon, at what age do the Velociraptors become Eight lethal? Months. That is an option. Oh, this is good. This is going a lot quicker. This Barry, this took forever. Uh, you've Eight got them months. all wrong, though, so far. So. <laughs> Question six. What is the first stop on the Jurassic Park tour? Is it the Brachiosaurus enclosure, the T-Rex paddock, the Dilophosaurus paddock, or the Gallimimus enclosure? It's the Dilophosaurus paddock. Okay. Question seven. What is Ray Arnold's famous line? Hold on to your butts. Hold on to your buns. Hold on to your bottoms. I thought you were going to go through a different enunciation, like hold on to your butts. <laughs> <laughs> hold on to your. It's a different ones butts. italicized. No, hold on to your bottoms, which I cannot imagine Samuel L. Jackson saying, or hold on to your behinds. It's hold on to your butts. Okay. Question eight: What does the Triceratops eat to make it sick? West Indian lilac berries, East Indian lilac berries, West African lilac berries or East African lilac berries? It's one of the Wests. West Indian... West Indian, locked in. Oh. Not that. Ooh. Question nine. What are Lex's eating habits? And not just foretelling jelly. Is she a vegan, a vegetarian? Vegetarian. A pescatarian? And question ten. Which dinosaur embryo is not stolen by Dennis Nedry? Gallimimus? Velociraptor, That's taken. Stegosaurus, or Triceratops. How are you spelling Stegosaurus? Because, I'm not. Because trivia, it's actually spelt wrong in the film. Ooh. It's Stegosaurus. So is this a trick question? They've written Stegosaurus. I don't know if it's a trick question or they just didn't know. Because I don't want it to be like, oh, you said Triceratops yeah. is actually Stegosaurus. I don't know it wrong. Ruben <laughs> Guevara's knowledge on this subject. So. Um, Say so Gallimimus. That's the most boring, isn't it? Yeah. No, that would be my thinking. You would want one of those. Well, I thought there were 10 questions. Apparently, there's 20. So we're going to have to go really quick through these. Okay. Ready? Yep. Go. 
What does Gennaro say when he first sees the T-Rex? Oh God, oh Lord, oh Jesus, Jesus. or oh Christ? What does Dr. Grant tell Tim not to do when climbing a tree? Lose your footing, go too fast, look down, or stop paying attention? Don't look down. <laughs> stop paying attention. <laughs> what does the Brachiosaurus do to Lex? Sneeze on her. Yeah. What would the Lysine contingency do to the dinosaurs? Stop reproducing, stop breathing, become severely malnourished, or slip into a coma and die? Uh, the last one, slip yeah. into a coma. That sounds familiar to me as well. What does the T-Rex not eat during the film? A Velociraptor, a lawyer, a Gallimimus, a goat, a Triceratops, or a car tyre? Well, technically it doesn't eat the car tyre. That's what I was thinking, yeah, because it doesn't swallow it. It's the it, Triceratops. It? Okay. What is Muldoon's famous last line? Clever girl. What does Dr. Grant call Tim in the visitor centre? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Little Tim, the human piece of toast. Big yeah, Tim, that, that, the human that. piece of toast. Okay, listen. No, Big Tim, the human piece of toast. Where do Tim and Lex trap the Velociraptor in the kitchen? In the freezer. Uh, the options are meat locker, storage closet, utility room, or oven. Can I, can I take issue with this? Because it's clearly... I don't want it to say meat locker because there's a whole thing point in the film where John Hammond eats ice cream and it's like, I didn't want to waste it. And the very fact he doesn't shut the freezer door properly means it slips and actually gets stuck in there. Yeah. So it's a freezer with ice cream in it, so it can't be a meat thing. Yeah. Can't meat be locker is covered. the only one here that's a refrigerated thing. Well, though, so let's go for meat locker one. then, but yeah. it's not true. It's wrong. It's wrong. Reuben. Question 19. What does Hammond say after Dr. Grant tells him he's decided not to endorse his part? So have I. That is one of the exact options. And question 20. How many humans are actually eaten in the film? There's the guy at the start, then the lawyer, then Samuel L. Jackson, then Bob Peck, and then um, Newman in the car. It's five. Okay. And a 21st question has literally just appeared. How many dinosaurs are actually eaten in the film? One, two, three, or four? Well, only one, technically, because the raptors get thrown about. They don't get eaten. Okay. And the answers are in. You, you, I'm just going to tell you the ones you got wrong because there's so fucking many. Mm. Apparently, Juanito says, que lindo eres, so he said. Oh, he said. Ah. Okay. Uh, oh, my God. You've got nearly all of them right. Apparently, it was a Gallimimus embryo not stolen by Dennis. But that's what I said. Yeah, that's what we put. And it said it thinks we put Triceratops. It's because it's the uh, thing doesn't work very well. Yeah. Uh, my God, that is it. Taking into account, you've got 19 out of 21 right. You need a 10. You have won the first prize. But now, you must prove your love in a different way. Mr. Eli Silverman, love expert, will come in. <laughs> have I got to get off with Eli? No, but you do need to get off the sofa. <laughs> and Eli will take your space. See, that was a segue. So, <clears throat> you must now prove your love for Jurassic Park. Okay. By performing a musical number from the film. And unfortunately, all you can really do is the theme to Jurassic Park by John Williams which you will have to perform a cappella for us. But remember, we're not looking for technical prowess. We want to feel the love. Feel the love. So it starts off with this really nice kind of... Dun, 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 It's nice, it's like I'm there. I don't know where, but I'm there. Dun, 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 it gets a bit, it gets a bit slower. And then, nice. then, 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 then you go. Ba, 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 ba. Boom. Boom, boom. They're technically two things. Ah! No? No. Oh, I enjoyed it. You've just yeah. tried to squeeze a boob. Scratch! <laughs> <laughs> Eli's love tips, number one. <laughs> Helicopter land. Oh, nice. Setting the scene. Boop, 
and then there's the other one where they see the bra Brachiosaurus for the first time, and he takes the glasses off and does all this, and then John Hammond's like, "Welcome to the Racket Park," <laughs> and then it's like <laughs> uh, the famous one. Stop! And he's like, That's how do you do bad. this? I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> that is plenty enough. Mr. Eli, did you feel love? Uh, the love built. The love built. Did it build to an acceptable level? It built to a, a high level of love. In that case, you have won both prizes, which I will now present to you. <laughs> now you can stop doing it, though. Please stand for the giving of the gifts. For firstly, for answering far too many bloody questions, because I forgot to check how many there were. 21. You have won <gasps> this Jurassic <gasps> Park, oddly officially licensed, even though it looks like a knockoff. Is it? Yeah. It looks like a Funko Pop thing, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really does. And for showing your love musically, oh. you win this small badge of a, what is it, Dilophosaurus? It's a Dilophosaurus. Yep, yeah, which gobs in the face of that bloke who was in Third Rock. Did you the know, they, they never they don't actually do that. That's an addition by Steven Spielberg. And they're much bigger as well. It's this small in the film and it goes. This film's ruined for me now. Yeah. I'm just gonna watch uh, Ghostbusters 2 instead. And that'll be my evening. Thank you for proving your love for Ooh. your favorite film. Not this. <laughs> Why did that take forever? <laughs>